As usual, even this year Cars and Coffee was bonkers. Supercars, hypercars, legend on four wheels, just what a mind-blowing event. But through all the Lambos, McLaren and other exotic stuff, there has been one that really stole all the lights. Ladies and gents, this is the Apollo IE. The phoenix from the ashes of the Gumpert, which basically represents an old philosophy meant to make your art run faster. So let Ryan Berries, the manager of the brand, explain you more in depth. Hi Driving Landscape, I'm Ryan from Apollo and I'm proud to be able to show you a glimpse at our latest project, the Apollo IE. And IE stands for Intensa Emozione. Now, Intensa Emozione is Italian for intense emotions, and that describes the philosophy behind this car. Our favorite days were the old GT1 days, when cars were light, analog, nimble, and quick, but also very engaging to drive. Um, what we didn't want to do is create a numbers car that was designed for straight line speed, and that incorporated uh, emotionally dilutive systems, hybrids or turbos, that kind of uh, take away from the driving experience. So if, with this car, we are very forward thinking with the design and the chassis. So this car features the world's first all carbon fiber chassis, which includes not just the carbon fiber tub, but also carbon fiber front and rear subframes and carbon fiber front and rear crash structures. Now, because we made our own bespoke all carbon fiber chassis, we are able to create very organic, tight shapes on the design, which one, uh, led to an, its increased aerodynamic efficiency, and this car actually produces 1,350 kilograms of net downforce at 300 kilometers an hour with no active aero. So again, a very mechanical uh, vehicle. Uh, in addition to that, uh, the car is very lightweight. It only weighs 1,250 kilograms and features a naturally aspirated V12 with 780 horsepower and as I said before the philosophy is to pay homage to the GT1 days so the car is a very emotional experience to drive so we went so far in certain components as implementing hydraulic power steering because we felt it adds more to the emotional driving experience of the car and a more connected feel uh, so again we wanted to kind of do something different than where many of the other players are going to. And it's not saying that this is car is better than any other person in the segment. It's just something different. And we felt that no one was producing a car that created a very raw experience in today's market and that no one would ever would before or going forward. So we wanted to do it ourselves. Um, in addition to that, and in the spirit of carrying on a very emotional driving experience. It also incorporates a six-speed Hewlin sequential racing gearbox, which actually is three pedals. So you need a clutch to get in and out of first gear. And then once you get out of first gear, you just use the uh, paddles to go straight through up and down. Uh, but the reason why we chose this gearbox is because the car is very capable on track, but also because of the extreme levels of downforce, we wanted to make sure all the components would be able to withstand the both downforce and lateral forces, which can be in excess of two and a half Gs uh, for the drivers. This is a car um, that we're only producing 10 units of. The cost is 2.3 million euros, and all units are already spoken for. But we look forward to showing you the car, hopefully at one of our events later this year. And uh, thank you so much for joining us.